Hey guys, so um, my last video I said that I was just going to do a video on the St. Ives products and I'll just go into a little bit more detail. Um, I've They've been mentioned in a few videos and with the green tea scrub it actually has its own review. So um, I won't go into details a lot on that one. However, I will with pretty much everything else. So I guess I will start with the green tea scrub. Again, I love it. Um, the little green granules are really tiny. Um, it like smooths out my skin. Um, a lot of the times, I don't even use my other face wash. I just use this, and then that's it. You know, instead of exfoliating and then using a face wash afterwards. Um, I just really love it. It's really smooth. I haven't had any problems. Um, you just need to keep a little water. So, like, keep a little water like keep watering up your face because it kind of starts to get a little dry that's the only thing and I said that again in my uh, review of this product um, I keep it in the shower now it's just a lot easier to use that way but I definitely love this product um, it's definitely helped with um, my skin um, I don't know why I keep saying um but yeah so love it um, this one is the uh, warming scrub and um, it's small, as you can see. It's smaller than the other one. It's uh, 0 0.4. Point, oh, it's 4 ounces. Sorry, not 0 0.4. This is 4.5 and this is 4 ounces. Um, I got it from the Dollar Tree. And I was thinking if it's at the Dollar Tree, maybe it did not sell that well. So maybe it's not a good product. Um, and I was wrong. It smells really, really good. It does not smell like any of the... Uh, the green tea or the apricot scrub or anything like that. It has its own smell, but it smells really, really good. Um, it does, in fact, heat up on contact with the water in your face. Um, it's something that uh, I use more as a like a deep cleaner for my face. Um, I don't like to scrub it really hard or anything, but when it, but with the warmth of the product it actually does get a little warm and with like the shower um it just really opens up my pores and it just cleans really really well so i do like this product um i'm trying to incorporate it now into my uh i guess my face routine or whatever um it's 100 percent natural natural exfoliants and so um i don't know if that helps or i always keep saying i don't know if that helps or anything but things that are natural or they say that they're natural bring comfort to me so I'm trying to go <laughs> natural with my products. And now that doesn't mean that I won't use anything else, but you know, I really do like this um, as well. And I'm big on exfoliation. That's always been one of my things. Body exfoliation, face exfoliation. Everyone's face cannot, you know, take both of these, not at the same time, but you know what I mean, like take a lot of exfoliation. But, um, I would say if you had a more sensitive skin, I would go with this one because it's very, it's more soft, um, and so it, 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 it will probably be best for you if you have like sensitive skin. But I do like this, um, and it does definitely relax your face with a little warming. It's not like hot or anything, but it definitely does like warm up a little bit. You can feel the difference between like any other body not body but face wash or whatever because it's cold so this definitely has a little warmth to it um i'll stay on the scrubs i guess um this is the uh oatmeal and shea butter moisturizing in shower body polish um i had this in a video a long time ago um and i loved it um i just bought another one because i did actually start using it i buy a lot of stuff and i'll use it once or twice and i'm like i like it but if it's something that i actually keep going back to then i feel like i really like the product um and so it i guess it is pretty much in linked with the body wash and lotion which i do have um but it's a very good product it's it's a pretty solid product. Let me see if I can see. And so you like scoop some of it out um, while you're in the shower and you um, polish it into your skin. Uh, the place that I 
my stove um concentrate on is my arms because i think i have eczema on my arms uh eczema runs my family so uh, so i polish my arms i do that a lot um and i get my whole arms you know elbows and everything and knees and legs because those are areas that can get like a little flaky and ashy not me but you've seen ashy elbow and ashy knee people and sometimes it lotion won't help they need to polish off that dead skin so um i definitely like this as a body exfoliant um it doesn't give me any reactant like reaction afterwards meaning like i don't have like little bumps or anything afterwards because i've had that before where i exfoliated with a product and then i started getting like little bumps on my arms or whatever so it doesn't have any of that um it does say like keep the top on it so that um it doesn't get any water in it but when I do take it out I do put a little water in my hand and start polishing it just to break it up a little bit because it is very thick and but it's really it's a really good exfoliant so oatmeal and shea uh, moisturizing and it does definitely moisturize and I think oh, burping hiccuping I don't know but I, I think with the body wash and the lotion it's just like they all work so well together but it definitely is moisturizing like it doesn't leave your skin like flaky and patchy so really love this okay so i'll go into the body wash which this is a lot used out of me for me and it's hypoallergenic because that's one thing you should look for if you have problems with your skin of course you know maybe not the thing to do um like bath and body works i love 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 their products but sometimes you can have some problems with them I have at least so this is hypoallergenic and it's the moisturizing body wash I'm sorry if I'm moving it all around and it's uh again oatmeal and shea butter and I think they all do go together um put a little bit on my um loofah or little scrunchy things or whatever and you know wash up however sometimes I just use my hand it's just that nice and it's really creamy and it smells really really good that's one of the things that I absolutely have to it has to smell good or I'm just gonna feel like it's like medicated or something but it does work really really nice and um, it rinses away away very well so let me see I don't know it just says it's a dermatologist dermatologist tested I can't speak today um, and it's really really nice this one is of um, uh, made with natural ingredients, one hundred percent natural extracts, and formulated without parabens. Parabens. I'm not sure what those are, but I will Google that just to see, you know, why that's bad for you, and see if any of my other stuff has it. I don't know, but um, it does help with like itchy, dry skin. Um, that's something that sometimes I have a problem with dry skin. So it's really really good and so I'm going on to the lotion which um definitely really really good I usually use the Vaseline and I should have brought it in here just to show you how it looks and the Vaseline is I believe shea butter or cocoa butter I believe it's cocoa butter and it's in like a copper with like a brown top or whatever and it's a really large bottle that's the one that I always use and it smells really good and I always use that one but I've started using this one and it's it says it's soothing and it's advanced body moisturizer 100% natural moisturizers and um, it just works really really well it's a lightweight the other one which is more thick the Vaseline um, cocoa butter lotion is really thick and so I would definitely say that's more of a, a winter or a colder weather um, lotion because it's a little thicker and that's okay when you know you're just throwing on some jeans or whatever because it's cold outside but you know when it's hot outside you don't want your legs feeling sticky if you have on like a dress or some shorts and your legs are touching you know each other or your arms like you know you don't want that like sticky feel because that's nasty feeling in the summertime so this is definitely a lightweight moisturizer but it definitely works it it seals in the moisture and so I would definitely say using these together would be you know a really good one um yeah so that's it oh and not this one the green tea has a body wash and i'm thinking i want to buy it 
because I don't know. It just this sounds nice. I'm obsessed with St. Ives products right now. I love them to death. Um, do I still use the apricot scrub? I have not bought any. The first time I bought this, I was going to buy some apricot scrub and I ended up buying this instead. So I do not have any right now, but I'm not saying that I would not ever buy it again and use it. But I found the green tea scrub, which I like a lot. But you really have to catch it on sale sometimes because some places will try to jip you on the price. Like I was at Walgreens and it was almost $8, I believe, because it still is a new product. And so, I don't know, try to find it for less. I got my mine at Walmart for a good price or you could check like CVS. CVS really has like good deals. So I think they have any St. Ives products two for seven dollars right now. But the, the ad in the newspaper showed this and the body wash together. So you know these are definitely more bang for your buck. But if you want to pick up this and this one also has a um face wash to it. Um but it's non abrasive it's just a a greenish clear gel I usually need something to have a little something in it for me to use but I may use I don't know I may try it but uh I use Neutrogena but I love that product so I don't know it's all up in the air um I'm loving St. Ives products right now they are great um hopefully you guys like my review of the St. Ives stuff rate comment subscribe if you have any questions leave them below see ya